Jericho returning during the New Day countdown, which was pretty cool. There was a spoiler earlier on in the day that said he was coming back. I did not read it. I saw the headline. It said huge spoiler on tonight's Raw, and I did not read it. So I was genuinely shocked when he showed up, which was pretty cool. Um, the promo was like his 99 promo all over again, which he admitted to, which is fine. Like his kind of best of hits. The people liked it. He announced his participation in the Royal Rumble match. Add some star power. And Jericho doesn't come back for nothing. After the Fandango shit from like three years ago, which went nowhere, I think Jericho is like, you know what? I'm only going to come back when I feel it's right and when I feel like there's something I can kind of sink my teeth into, like the Wyatt stuff in last year with um, when he came back for the night, one night with the Shield, which I still say is leading to something. I mean, he could always be in the Rumble. I know people are like, oh, why is he back as a babyface despite what happened when he was last year on TV? Just wait, people. He's not going to be back for just the Rumble. I'm sure he's going to be back for a while. He'll be back until WrestleMania. So I feel like it's building to that. He'll toss Ambrose from the Rumble, and we'll get that match at WrestleMania, I'm sure. So um, and I think it's great. It's a great little, it's a great little hook for the Rumble match for Jericho to be in it. I don't expect him to win, but um, it's great they're finally doing something. I mean, he, he always does something of note when he's back for the most part, but um, it's great they're adding some star power to the now championship on the line Rumble match. So any thoughts on Chris Jericho's return on Monday's Raw? Well, I'm going to see why Chris Jericho return, but like I said, he's not returning to just job out to someone and, like, waste his time. Like, that whole Fondango shit was awful. Did nothing for either guy, really. Chris Fondango was terrible, and he still is. <laughs> yep. Um, I can still see, like you, you were saying, have a team throw or Jericho throw Dean, or do the other way, have Dean throw Jericho, then Jericho does the old jump in and throw him out. Yep. Like, I know, I just said how dumb it is, but WWE still has not corrected that rule, so I can still see that, like, he's thrown out, like, kind of, like, looks like he's playing off pretty good, like, oh, like, like, you beat me, and then, like, right when he turns around, just flies in the ring and just beats the living shit out of him. I like it. That's, I like it. that's how you that's how you pull the trigger with uh, Jericho's heel turn in the Rumble. Right, exactly. I don't like it, but it's what they'll probably do. Yeah, exactly. It makes no sense, which means which is why WWE would probably do. I mean, the the fact that he would attack it makes sense, but the way that it happens when he goes back in the Rumble and goes back to eliminate him, it's so dumb. But WWE's done it for so long now that I just kind of accepted it. Like it's like something I expect to happen in every Rumble because they do it all the time. So <laughs> they'll probably do that. But um, either way, I expect something to happen with that feud because otherwise. Again, unless he's coming back, he's, he's not coming back for a paycheck. Because people are like, oh, why is he back again? I mean, if he wanted to come back for a paycheck, he just does house shows. All of last year, with the exception of that one appearance um, with the Shield guys against the Wyatt family and Night of Champions, he just came back to do house shows in the winter, in the spring, in the summer, and that was it. He was gone after that. He never made one TV appearance with the exception of Night of Champions. And they asked him to be in the Rumble match last year. They asked him to be in it as a surprise entrant, and he said no. So otherwise, if they asked him to be in this Rumble and he said, you know, and he said yes, obviously it's for a good reason, and they have a plan for him at WrestleMania. So I'm expecting it to be something with Ambrose. I don't know where else he fits in. Maybe uh, Lionheart and uh, Phenomenal One would be nice, but I don't think that's the plan. Otherwise, you know, that's not even official yet, so I don't think that's the plan, but uh, that would be pretty sweet too. So I expect something to happen with that at the Royal Rumble.